Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is, I have no idea what day it is, August 26th, 2020. Um, and I am here with another update for Wishes for Wings. For those of you who are new here, Wings is a domestic violence organization based here in the Chicago area. And we as a Yarny community are doing a year long uh, donation drive for them where we are making handmade crocheted items and donating them to Wings. So that is our deal. I will have a ton of information in the description box down below. I will have a link to all the Wings videos, um, to some uh, tutorials for things that you can make for wings and uh, yeah so the August is almost over we should have one more um, update video after this one and then we will pick a uh, winner uh, so for those of you who are new here we actually do giveaways every month for the people who donate um, we've had some pattern giveaways yarn giveaways um, so it's been really fun uh, I think the yarn giveaways are awesome as well as the pattern giveaways because then you get to replenish some of the yarn you used uh, to donate. So um, for those of you who are new here, our August giveaway, actually even if you're not new here, I don't even think like I knew what the giveaway was for August. Um, but for August, our giveaway is going to be uh, two patterns, two patterns from the same designer and this is from Lobbers Lovables and she is on Facebook and Instagram. If I can figure out how to link her Facebook, I will, um, but I definitely follow her on Instagram and she is going to donate two patterns. So um, I'll double check with her. Um, her name is Lauren and see, do you want me to do this for two separate people or do you want the two patterns to go to one person? So Lauren, let me know. And I'm thinking we might have to do a box of yarn too because I've got a box of kind of mismatched yarns that I'm not sure what to do with um, and I think I want to give that away too so so let's just say it's going to be two patterns and a box of yarn separate people for now <laughs> okay so we'll figure that out all right so um, the other thing that I want to talk about is we are doing a blanket brigade so when I originally asked you guys to send in granny squares, I had asked for six inch and 12 inch granny squares and you guys rocked it. Um, you sent in so many that uh, there's just absolutely no way that I could possibly get them done. So what I did <clears throat> yesterday or the day before is um, we have a Facebook group for this channel. It's called Rose Likes Crochet. Come on over and join. You only have to answer three questions. They're really easy. Like what's your favorite color yarn? <laughs> you don't have to answer purple. Um, and um, I posted on there about two days ago asking for um, help with the Blanket Brigade. Um, and what that is is I have some blank uh, some squares put aside already enough six inch squares to make a twin size blanket and enough 12 inch squares to make a twin size blanket and I have them in boxes ready to be shipped and the only catch is that if I ship these boxes to you if you want to help you would have to put them together with your yarn however you want whatever border or no border it doesn't matter um, as long as it turns out to be a twin size blanket but you would have to be willing to pay to ship it back to me so um, I, right now I have enough squares for um, two or three more blankets believe it or not I've gotten eight people to help with the blanket brigade and those boxes all went out yesterday i'm so excited and i am so blessed that these people have offered their time and their money to put these blankets together for wings so you guys all know who you are from the facebook group um it's a couple of youtubers and it's a couple people who aren't on youtube so i want to thank all of you and once we get them back we'll do like one video to show the blanket brigade um by the way I appreciate all of you guys the ones who send in squares who send in washcloths who send in blankets I really do appreciate you guys so if you are interested in being a part of the blanket brigade and you um, are okay with paying to ship the box back with a made blanket um, you can send me an email roselikescrochet at gmail.com okay so 
the total donations that I have for this video so far are 15. So I have 15 boxes and some of them are small and some of them are really, really big. So the first box, the first box that I had for August actually is already at Wings. It's already been donated. And the reason it's already donated is I opened up the box like August 1st or something and it was five backpacks in the box completely filled with supplies. And this was the card that I got. There's the card and it says <clears throat> I'll insert a picture of the backpacks in a second. It says, hi Rose, I hope this finds you and Carrots well. Carrots is the nickname for my daughter. Well, just wanted to send some backpacks filled with goodies to start the school year for the kids. Thank you for putting this together. Hugs from Rebecca at Fiber J Crochet. So I am going to, we already donated those. So those are already at Wings and, and they're, they're using them. So I took a picture of the backpacks before we brought them over there. So I'll insert the picture here. So thank you so much, Rebecca, for donating the backpacks. That is amazing. Okay, so let's get started with the boxes, okay? So the first box that we have came in this priority box. Here's the card that came with it. And I told you guys, I need to be thanking you. You don't need to be thanking me. And she says, um, Rose, thank you for all you do for Wings. Please don't put my name in the drawing. Thank you. Hope these bags will help Wings and make the world one day better. And this is from Karen and uh, she puts in parentheses Myrtle Turtle. <laughs> so Karen, thank you so, so much. You guys, she sent like all, that whole box was filled with bags. So I'm gonna show you the bags and look, she even has a turtle on the tag, you guys. Oh, so, so cool. All right, so here's one of the tote bags. You guys, these bags are amazing. Um, here is another one. This is like super thick. Love it. <clears throat> now, we, uh, we do have items of the month, and right now we don't have an item of the month for August, but we did have bags, I think June or May or June or something like that. Here is another bag. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's lined. It's gorgeous. <clears throat> There's another bag with the little handles that's also lined. Oh my goodness, you did such a beautiful job. There's another bag, also lined. It looks like they're all lined, you guys. Here's a little granny square bag. That's awesome. And check this one out, you guys. I love the colors on this one. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, this one's not lined but that's okay because it's really, really cool. So Karen, thank you so much for the bags. I cannot wait to donate these. All right, let's get to the next box, guys. So this next box is from Gina, and Gina is from, I believe it is North Carolina, but I could be wrong. And she sent a card, and you guys, it's a handmade card. And she says, Rose, you are amazing. Thank you for all you do. Here are my squares. Hope they will be of use. Big hugs to you and carrots, yours, Gina. And uh, I'm not gonna take them out of the box, but she sent 13 12 inch squares and 15 six inch squares. So, um, by the way, you guys, please don't send any more squares. So it is a big box full of squares and I so appreciate it. Thank you so, so much, Gina. All right, you guys, so this next box is from Kelly and Kelly is from Alabama. So, hey, Alabama. Now, I'm not gonna take these out of the box either, but there are like over 120 squares in this box. So if you guys check that out, like it's completely filled to the brim. So this is almost one blanket right here, just with these squares. So Kelly, I so appreciate you sending these. There was no card in the box, you guys, um, but I do appreciate it, thank you. So this next box is from Judy Friedman and she is from Virginia. And here is the card she sent. Sorry about that, guys. And she says, howdy, Rose, here are some stress balls and scrubbies for wings. There are a bunch of patterns for lemons out there, but these are loosely based on one by Twinkle 
Twinkie Chan for the Craft Yarn Council. Thanks for all you do and share. Hugs to you, carrots and camo. For those of you who don't know, camo is my crazy dog. <laughs> all right, so she sent an entire Ziploc baggie full of kitchen scrubbies. These are amazing. Thank you very much. And you guys, uh, let's see if you can see them. Look at all those lemon stress balls. How cool are those? So this is what they look like, you guys, with the little green on the top and everything, and they're squishy. And this is one of the items that was requested by Wings were stress balls um, for the people who are at the Wings organization. Um, so thank you so much for sending them. All right, you guys, so I love when you guys recycle packaging. <laughs> this is a bag from Lovecrafts, I think, yes. And this is from Linda Hoffland, and she is from uh, my neighbor, she is my neighbor to the north. She is from Wisconsin, so what's up, Linda? And Linda sent a card. Uh, just polka dots and she requested not for me to for me to not read this on uh, camera so I am going to honor her request <laughs> all right so in this bag which I'm gonna leave it stuffed in here you guys she put in I wrote it down um, she put in five 12 inch squares and 61 six inch squares and she made a mask for my daughter so she made this little mask. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's got music notes on it and my daughter is a musician. <laughs> and um, yeah, with like an adjustable elastic and everything. So this is pretty incredible. Thank you so much. And then she sent a bag of goodies for me. I believe in her note, she said she uh, was going to attempt to do stitch markers and decided against it. So <laughs> she sent me what she bought. So I've got some lobster clasps. Oh, and some pretty charms. So thank you so much. Uh, Linda, let me know if you want me to make these into stitch markers for you and I'll make them for you and I'll send them back to you. So Linda, thank you so, so much for that. So this next box is from Ruth Bacon and she is from Connecticut. She sent this box and she sent this beautiful card and the card says, oh, she wrote small, hang on guys. <laughs> All right, she says, enclosed are some dishcloths that I have enjoyed making. I use the Creative Grandma's Easy Holiday Anytime Dishcloth Pattern. It's a free pattern and there is also a tutorial. I have been enjoying seeing all that your other subscribers or friends, that's right, you guys are my friends, have been sending you. I have been watching your video for some time now and she miss seeing, misses seeing carrots. Please use the homespun in a giveaway. <laughs> or you may use it yourself. It's not my favorite yarn. Ruth, it's not my favorite yarn either. She says, oh bother, now I'll have to buy some more yarn to fill that empty space. <laughs> Thanks for being a collection point for such a worthy cause from Ruth. Okay, so you guys, she sent in an entire baggie full of washcloths. And, uh, oh, that's really cool. This one has like the scrubby yarn mixed in with it. So I'm gonna leave these nice and neat in here. So thank you so, so much, Ruth. And then, yes, I will use these for a giveaway. <laughs> so she sent in four skeins of homespun. Oh, yes, I will put it in a giveaway. Thank you so much, Ruth. So this next bag came from one of our very own YouTubers here. Her name is Karen Green and her husband, Brian, and she have a channel called Fiber Hearts. And I got to meet them at um, Crystal's Bag o Day retreat last year. So it was so exciting to meet them. And um, she sent this package. So she sent a note and it says, hi Rose, it was a pleasure to make these for wings. Thank you for doing this. The washcloths are 100% cotton made from peaches and cream. The pouches have a cardboard disc at the bottom so nothing falls through, so clever. Brian and I worked on these together. Love Karen and Brian from Fiber Hearts. P.S. Thank you for the Wonder Woman stitch markers. Karen, Brian is the one that ordered those for you. So you can thank him for those. <laughs> so, all right. So we've got a huge pile of washcloths or dishcloths. And look at how pretty you guys. Oh my gosh. I love these. 
Hey Karen, can you let us know what pattern you used for these? You could just leave a comment down below um, because they're really cool looking. I love them. Now, um, oh, I like that color a lot. So she sent all of these dishcloths and washcloths, okay? And then there's a big bag of like pencil cases. So I'm gonna show you what they look like. Okay, you guys, these are amazing. So here is the pencil case, and she's got beads for the tie closure at the top, and then there is a piece of cardboard in here, so if the kids put their stuff in here, it won't go through the holes. And so it's like a little drawstring. How freaking cute is that? Oh my gosh, okay, so she sent, um, let's see, there's different color beads on them. So there's two, three, ooh, look at that one four, five, six, you guys see the little cardboard, seven and eight. So Karen, we need your help again too. Can you please let us know what pattern you use for these? Because these are really, really cool. I love them. So thank you for sending the washcloths and the pencil cases. They are incredible. So thank you, Karen and Brian Fiber Hearts. So this next box comes from Lori Knowles and she is also from Connecticut. Oh, by the way, Karen and Brian are from California, but this is from Lori and she is from Connecticut. And this is the card she sent. And let's see what she says here. She says, Dear Rose, please find enclosed five cotton hot pads, 12 six inch granny squares, five bookmarks, and one pencil case for wishes for wings. I love watching your videos. They always make me happy. Thank you for all you do. Fondly, Lori. So Lori, thank you for actually donating. That's what I appreciate. So you guys, here are the squares and they're so pretty. See, this is like another blanket, like just here from today. <laughs> they're beautiful, they're so soft. Okay, here is the pencil case. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, do you have a pattern for this, Lori? Can you let us know? <laughs> it's really, really nice. Here are the hot pads. Um, with, I love that colorway, you guys. These are just gorgeous. I love them. It looks like these are, um, they're double thick, you guys. And then here are the bookmarks. Look at how pretty. I don't know if I have the, pa I mean, I have patience to work with the thin yarn, um, but I'm, oh, look, you guys, seriously. It's like little tulips. Oh my gosh, I need to know the pattern for this. <laughs> how adorable is this? And what size yarn did you use? Cause it's gotta be awfully thin yarn. So, oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. Little mini granny square bookmarks. They're absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so, so much for sending them. I really appreciate it, thank you. All right, so this next box comes from Erin Morrison and she is from Florida. And the envelope says, happy mails to you. Woohoo! She left me a note and it says, Rose, thank you for all you are doing for wings. Enclosed, I have some 12 inch and six inch squares. I think a couple are a tiny bit short of 12 inches. Hope you can still use them. Say hello to Carrots and the Pup, your crochet friend, Erin Morrison. So I am sure we will be fine with those. So I'm gonna show you guys the six inch squares. They're so pretty, love them. And then you guys, these 12 inch squares are gorgeous. Oh my God, I, I know that's like a red heart color, but they're so pretty. Um, let's see if I can just go through them real fast. They're so gorgeous. I love them. I absolutely love them. And I'm sure we will be able to use them. So Erin, thank you so much for sending in the squares. Again, remember guys, please don't send any more squares because I'm overflowing with squares, but thank you so much, Erin. All right, so this package is from Lauren and she is from Lobbers Lovable. So this is the person who is gonna be doing part of our giveaway for this month of August. And um, again, Lauren, just let us know if we can give two patterns, the pa one pattern to one person and then another pattern to another person if we could do two separate giveaways. Thanks, let me know. Um, so she sent an envelope and ooh, it's my color. On the back, it says, in a time of destruction, create something. That is a quote from Maxine Hong Kinston. 
Uh, and this is a long note. So it says, hi Rose, hope you're doing well and aren't granny squared out yet. I hope these aren't too late. My schedule got flipped upside down this past week. I'm shortlisted for a job with Furls and I'm super excited, busy with a portfolio project. Okay, so Lauren, I wish I liked Furls hooks, but I don't like them. But you know, feel free to send some yarn my way if you have access. <laughs> I'm kidding. Squares are a variety of scraps, mostly red heart and comparable yarns. Hope they will be neutral enough to fill in some blank spots. I may not get anything sent in for August, but uh, once you are ready for hats, I've got some ready. Best Lauren. P.S. No giveaway entry. P.S.S. Earrings and markers are your choice to keep or give away. Thought the wings were appropriate. Okay, so you guys, she sent some stitch markers. Oh, hold on a second. And they have wings on them. Can you guys see that? Should we give these away too? Let's give these away. Um, so we will give, wow, so for August, we have a lot of giveaways. So we will do um, this, This both sets of stitch markers will go to one person. We'll have a box of yarn and we'll see what Lauren says about the pattern. So that's pretty cool. All right, and then she sent in the squares and I like them because they are neutral colors for sure. And then you guys check it out. This is what um, she did. She took four six inch squares and sewed them together to make a 12 inch square. So perfect. All right, and then we've got a couple more 12 inchers and they're gorgeous. And Lauren, I so appreciate you sending in the squares, the stitch markers, it's amazing. And thank you so much for donating a pattern or two for the giveaway. So this next bag is from Alyssa and she is in New York, New York, New York. And Alyssa sent a card, says thank you. No, thank you. Oh my goodness, it's a long card. Okay, she wrote small, I need eyeballs, guys. Okay, she says, hi Rose, I wanted to make something for wings. I really wanted to make granny squares and that terrified me. <laughs> Not because I didn't think I can make it, but because I was worried it would be too small. I make amigurumi and crochet tight. So when I made the six inch one, I felt better I felt it was five and a half inches. So I stretched it and when I blocked it to six inches. Then I started another one from Bag O'Day. It was supposed to be 13 inches, so I made it and it turned out eight inches. <laughs> so I added rows and hopefully you can use them, LOL. I had no problems with the stress balls though. I added a bunny for carrots to go with her giant carrot. I hope you like my stitch marker. I am just a beginner, though not as great as you. Oh, we're all, I'm totally a beginner on making stitch markers, girlfriend, don't worry about it. She says, hope everything helps and that it isn't too late for the squares, Alyssa. And she says, I comment under my YouTube name, Anaya's Toy Box Crochet. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Alyssa, nice to meet you. I always just say hi, Anaya, because I thought that was your name. So um, I will see if she's got a channel and then I will link her down below. All right, so these are her squares and they're beautiful. <laughs> So we've got a six inch square and it looks phenomenal. And then we've got this beautiful 12 inch square and it looks beautiful too. And um, yeah, I think it looks, I think it looks great. I don't think you have anything to worry about. We'll be able to put that in a blanket. All right, then she sent some stress balls. So she sent eight stress balls and here they are. And oh, they're nice and squishy. Oh, thank you so much. That's gonna be awesome. And then here is what she sent for carrots. So I'm gonna open it up because carrots isn't here today. You guys, here's the bunny and it's got like a little floaty too. Oh my gosh, how adorable. <gasps> Look at the bunny has on a bikini, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Okay, so here is her business card. Uh, if you guys wanna screenshot that, but I will also put her information down below. And this is the stitch marker. And it's got a ball, a skein of yarn. And it says on the back of the card, a rabbit and her inner tube for carrots, stitch marker for you. The pattern is by Manic Yarn and it was made by Alyssa of Anaya's Toy Box. So, oh my gosh, so cute. Thank you so, so much. It is just beautiful. Thank you so much, Alyssa. 
So this next humongous box is from Karen and she is from Virginia. So hey Karen from Virginia and this was monstrous box you guys. This isn't even the biggest box that we got. <laughs> so she sent me a note and it says here is another package for wings. I've included some bags that can be used for makeup or toiletries. You'll also find a twin size blanket that has been washed and dried so it is ready to use. I worked on it for most of this summer. Thanks again for inviting us to help in this worthy cause. I look forward to watching all your videos, especially the ones for the wings donations. I hope you and Carrots enjoy the rest of the summer. Stay safe from Karen. So you guys, here are the cosmetic bags. Um, these will be great for the moms that are there, the ladies that are there. So they're adorable. And then, you guys, it's a full twin size blanket. Um, she packed it in this um, Ziploc thingy. So let me open this up. Okay, you guys, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. And by the way, you guys, if you do want to donate blankets, as long as they're twin size blankets, they don't have to be granny square blankets. Okay, so I obviously just opened this up. Um, what I'll do before I upload this video is I will go and take a picture of this sitting on top of my full or my queen size bed so you guys can see it. Oh, the colors are just beautiful. Okay, so I will take a picture of this on my queen size bed and I'll insert it here so you guys can see what it looks like. So Karen, thank you so much, you guys. It's so beautiful, thank you. All right, so this next box is from Shirley and she is from Washington. Do you guys see how big this box is? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are so amazing. Okay, she sent me a card attached to a bag here and it says uh, hi Rose enclosed for wings this month is a box full of stress balls I thought the oranges would be cute I used scrap yarn for the others thank you for all you do Shirley P.S. the gift of purple yarn is for you and a little cute thing for carrots okay so let's just show you guys the amount of stress balls that she sent okay so here's one bag of stress balls here is another bag of stress balls. Here is another humongous bag of stress balls. You guys, there's probably 40 stress balls. Wait, there's more. Here is another bag of stress balls. Okay, so we are so good on stress balls right now. This is incredible. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for sending all of these stress balls, Shirley. This is awesome so now we're gonna see what's in the bag <laughs> okay so she sent me a little ball of purple yarn whims merino z twist crocheters yarn from furls oh my gosh we were just talking about lauren sending me free yarn from furls <laughs> now you don't have to lauren because i got it uh it's called whims merino purple it's a number three and it is absolutely luscious so thank you so much for sending that. And then she made a carrot <laughs> for carrots with, an eye, with some green eyes. Oh my gosh, how adorable. Thank you so, so much, Shirley, for sending those items. That was amazing. Thank you. All right. Now, now we're getting serious here, guys. This is one of the biggest boxes that I have. I have, I have two other ones that are just this size, you guys. This is a medium Home Depot box. Um, there's no card in here and I'm positive I have an email, but I can't find it. Um, this is from someone from Los Angeles, California. And um, I apologize that I don't have your name. There's no name on here and there's no card. Wait till you guys see what's in here. This is absolutely incredible. Okay, the first thing that this fabulous person sent is a Ziploc baggie full of 12 inch squares. So, um, gorgeous colors, 
uh, just absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for sending the squares. I'm just gonna start calling you Los Angeles because I don't know who this is from. If you sent this, please make a comment, let us know. Then there are three scarves, which by the way, I'm not gonna be sending in right now because um, uh, they're not ready for winter gear yet. Um, but there are three scarves. So there's one, two, and three. And I wanna show you guys, here this one is already open. This is like super fine yarn and the fringe is just gorgeous, you guys. Look at this. It's abs they're absolutely beautiful. So whoever this is, can you please let us know what yarn this is? It's like shimmery, sparkly, and it's really thin, and this is gorgeous, gorgeous work. Okay, that's not the best part. There are three twin size blankets in that box. Three. Okay, let me show you guys. Okay, I have to stand up for this. I am gonna put these on my bed so I can show you guys what they look like. And this is probably blowing out, but here, let's see you guys. These are like all the same colors, all the same squares, absolutely gorgeous. O-M-G, you are my hero, Los Angeles. Okay, so there's one blanket. Here is number two. Oh my gosh, they're so heavy, you guys. <laughs> this is so incredible that we have this many blankets to turn in just like already ready to go. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's blanket number two from Los Angeles. Here is blanket number three. And I don't know if you guys can see it because my light is a little off today, but the border is gorgeous. They're all different color granny squares. They are incredible. Oh my gosh. Okay, so whoever this is, please, please, please email me again <laughs> or make a comment because I want everyone who is watching this video to make sure that they thank you specifically for these three blankets because they are incredible. Okay, you guys, <laughs> this is crazy. This box is huge and it's super heavy. And this is from Judy and Judy is from Florida. Okay, uh, it's so heavy. She put a few things on the top and the rest of this is all yarn. So hang on guys. Okay, you guys, this is a long letter. <laughs> Judy, I love you, oh my gosh. Okay, she says, hi Rose, these are the squares I made. They're not very good, they're late, and they are few. Here's my excuses. I'm as old as dirt, 76, and have arthritis in my hands and mild dementia. I have a lot else wrong too, but we'll save that for next time. <laughs> I took up crochet about three years ago right after I retired, and I really love it, but it's hard. I am getting better slowly. I included yarn bands for info. The pattern is Creative Grandma Watercolor Throw. I actually got a bit good at this by the fifth one. <laughs> so here are the squares, you guys. Oh, and she did put the, the yarn band in here. So she sent me a couple of six inch squares. And then she also sent me some 12 inch squares and they're so pretty. <gasps> wow, oh my gosh, these are gonna be beautiful in a blanket, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so let's see what else she says. She says, the large squares I made Creative Granny's watercolor throw square and then just did my own thing till it was 12 inches. Guess what, you shouldn't do this when you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you can quietly throw these squares away if you want and we'll never speak of this again. Judy, it's too late. I just showed everybody thank you for giving us so many hours of fun with your videos thank you for what you do for wings from Judy okay so Judy the squares are absolutely gorgeous and they're definitely going in a blanket thank you so much for all of your hard work on these squares okay and there's another note <laughs> all right she says 
Um, oh wow, she says, in the Ziploc is stuff I ordered when I thought about learning to make stitch markers. I ordered a few beads and something else, that's as far as I got. I put this in the Ziploc. What is the something else? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know why I ordered them or what they are used for, but now you have some and my house looks just a tiny bit better than a hoarder's. <laughs> After that bag is yarn. I bet you figured that out. I, this whole box is filled with yarn. <laughs> she says, I sent you some purple yarn and I'm hoping you will keep most of it for yourself as I chose it just for you. Uh, but of course, it's your yarn and you may certainly give it away if that's what makes you happy. But I stuffed yarns of other colors on top so you would have some other colors to give away. I practically had to sit on it to get it all in there. <laughs> Under that, under all that is carrots section. Love to carrots, love you both, and camo from Judy. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the yarn that she says I can give away if I want. <laughs> okay, so she put in there um, two touch of alpacas. Um, these are huge, oh my gosh. I don't really work with alpacas, so I, I definitely might have to give these away. And then here are two more in this like slate blue color. I mean, they're soft, but I don't know, I have a, uh, I don't have a fear of alpaca. I'm just afraid something's not gonna, it's not gonna feel right. And then she sent some scarfy yarn. Oh my gosh, she sent like three of them, you guys. So she sent three of these scarfies. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I have a problem with wool too. I don't know why. Like this wool ease thick and quick. Thank you, oh my gosh. That is so cool. And then she sent three of these uh, wool ease cakes. So check that out. Okay, so I guess that's the stuff for the giveaway. Now I'll show you the yarn that she sent for me. I am in purple heaven right now. Oh my gosh, Judy, you are amazing. Okay, so Judy sent me a hometown USA and the color is Portland wine. And then she sent one in this color, which is Minneapolis purple. And then she sent one in this color, which is Palm Bay Orchid. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, and then she sent some Lion Brand Heartland. And this one is called Kobuk Valley. And then she sent another one like this. So there are two different ones. This one is called Isle Royale. So, oh my gosh, so pretty. All right, then she sent two of these unforgettables. Holy mackerel, are those pretty. Gossamer, oh my gosh, I see hats and cowls with that, you guys. And then she sent a whole bag of this Heartland Purple. It's called Hot Springs, and it is like a Tweety. Oh my gosh, thank you, this is so pretty. This could be a hat and a scarf for me this winter. So, and then you guys, I actually never got this mandala. It's called Chi or Chai. It's the purples. I don't know why I never picked it up because I always think I have too much purple yarn. <laughs> Wait, is there such a thing as too much purple yarn? Never mind. Anyway, I never picked these up, but now I have three of them. So these are totally staying with me. Thank you. <laughs> and then she sent this cookie yarn. Okay, you guys. It just says cookie on it. And I think this is from Hobium or Hobie. Um, there's no color names or anything on here. I have some of these, but I have not used them yet. So I, I should get going on that. <laughs> so she sent me two of this one and there's two of this one. And then there's two of this one. Oh my goodness. Judy, thank you so much. I will definitely keep all the purple yarn for myself. I promise you, but I'm gonna give away the other ones. Maybe. <laughs> I'm just kidding, yes, I will. Okay, now here's the note for carrots. Again, for those of you who are new, carrots is my daughter. Uh, she, she writes, these are a few things for carrots. One of them is slightly used. After I retired and before I took up crochet, I decided to try art. After about 15 minutes, I decided I have absolutely no talent to build on in this area. <laughs> there are 100 really cheap dual tip brush pens that I found on Amazon. I tried to paint some small palm trees that my husband has in pots. So I think I only used some of the green ones. The result still makes me laugh. <laughs> 
I was afraid they might have dried out, but I checked them and they seem okay. They were dirt cheap, but I thought they were nice. It wasn't their fault that the palms looked like a smoothie. Maybe carrots can use them. <laughs> okay, so she sent, oh my gosh, carrots was gonna have a ball with this. So she sent some glitter markers and some colored pencils and some gemstones. Ooh, sorry, that's really bright. So some gemstones. And then here are the markers. That's awesome. And then it looks like here are some more markers or chalk or something. That's cool. And then drawing paper. You cannot go wrong with drawing paper. So Judy, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Thank you for the squares that you sent so we can make some blankets for wings. Thank you for all the yarn. Thank you for the art supplies. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. I really appreciate it. By the way, guys, I will open this up later because it looks like there's lots of little pieces, but we'll see what kind of stitch marker things we can do with these. So thank you again, Judy. All right, now finally, you guys, <laughs> this box is not from Premier, it's from Melissa Keller. And she warned me, she warned me. She emailed me and said, you've got a box coming. You're gonna need two people to pick it up. No, this empty right now. <laughs> And, um, and she, I didn't know what she was putting in there, but she put a lot of stuff in there. So I'm gonna show, and by the way, Melissa, how much yarn are you ordering where you're getting a box from Premier like this? Hmm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So let me show you the card. How cute. All right, so she says, hi Rose, I want to apologize for taking a bit longer on the blanket. Really, really, you guys should never apologize for sending anything that you think is, is coming late. Uh, unfortunately, domestic violence is probably not ever going to go away, and these people need things all the time. Okay, so she says, uh, the backpacks are for wings. Uh, there is a bag for carrot, and the big markers are for her. There is a big bag for you. There's a small bag with a kit for a giveaway. P.S. There will be another bag coming for you. Oh my gosh, Melissa, seriously, like, you're incredible. Let me show you guys the backpacks. Okay, so she sent two backpacks. Now these are not just, there's not just one notebook in here. This is like 10 pounds worth of supplies in this backpack. There are binders and folders and um, pencils and uh, crayons and like everything that a kid, oh my gosh, in the front pocket, there's glue sticks and scissors and erasers and Oh my gosh, like completely, completely packed to the gills with school supplies. So this is just one, okay? So this is one backpack. And here is another backpack, completely stuffed to the gills with school supplies. Like these are so heavy. Melissa, you are awesome. Absolutely awesome. Thank you so, so much for sending these backpacks. Okay. And then she says, this is for a giveaway. So this is a kit. Uh, looks like it's from Ice Yarn, and uh, I will not open it up. I will just make sure this goes in a giveaway. So thank you so much for doing that. And then she sent some Premier Basic yarn. Now I'm going to assume that we can use this to put the blankets together. Let me know otherwise. Thank you, Melissa. These are the pens she sent for my daughter. Oh my gosh, how fun is that? Where do you find something like this? This is so cool. Uh, I might want to get one for myself. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's next. So this bag says my name on it, and it looks like we've got some yarn, rodeo. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, we have some ice yarn in here. Oh, that's really pretty too. Look at that, you guys. <gasps> wow. Oh, here's another one of these kits. Oh, it's for a scarf. Okay, you guys, so the one kit will be in the giveaway and I guess I get one, thank you. And then, oh, there's a coloring book. Mandalas to color. I'll have to ask Carrots if I can borrow her markers. <laughs> thank you so much, Melissa. And let's see what's in Carrots' bag. So this is Carrots on it. I see stickers and notebooks. <gasps> Oh my gosh, she's gonna love this. Oh good, just, just in time for school. Oh, check out that cool binder. There's a bunch of notebooks. Oh, she gets a coloring book too. 
Oh, an etching. Oh, another coloring book. Okay. And then there's stickers in here and pencils. Oh my gosh. Colored pencils. There's like everything in here for carrots. Thank you so, so much, Melissa, for sending something for carrots too. You guys are all so sweet. Now, you guys, she also sent a twin size blanket. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's in one of these like vacuum packed bags. So let me open it up. All right, you guys, here we go again. Okay, so I'm going to try and show you as much as I can. Oh, it's all red, white, and blue. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, Melissa, this is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's huge. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the bed and then I'll insert a picture of the blanket here. Okay, so I have two last things, you guys. This video is ridiculously long. <laughs> so uh, my little helper, she's not little, she's in college, um, who is here this summer helping me put together blankets. Her name is Gabby. You guys have been so kind to her on Instagram and on this channel. Thank you so much. Um, she left for college, but before she left, she put together another blanket for us. So I'm going to show you the blanket. Now, she didn't do the square. She just put them all together, and she did a great job. Okay, so here is the blanket. Uh, this was already posted on Instagram, you guys. Um, she just took a bunch of 12 inch squares and r ran with it and did an amazing, amazing job putting this together. So Gabby, thank you so much. I'll insert a picture here of what this blanket looks like. Okay, and then this is the blanket that I put together. These are the six inch squares. It's gonna be really hard to see what it looks like. Um, this was also on Instagram on the same post. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go on over there and follow me. Um, but I will insert a picture of this one on the bed too. So you guys, we have seven blankets to go and bring to Wings. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So thank you so much everyone who's donated to Wings in the past, who donated in August. I so appreciate you guys. Wings appreciates you guys. Um, that's it, I'm gonna go. <laughs> We're gonna probably do one final update for August. And um, wow, I've got a lot to sort through so I can get this over to Wings. So thanks again, everyone. If you could all please leave a comment letting everyone know how appreciative you are of them. And any little thing that you guys send is incredible. So check out the description box for more information. We'll talk to you later. Bye.